హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐఆమ్ బాలాజీరావు వెల్కమ్ టు బిఆర్ మ్యాథ్స్ క్లాస్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ వీ విల్ లెర్న్ హౌ టు ఫామ్ ఏ డిఫరెన్షియల్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ది గివెన్ కర్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ప్రాక్టీస్ టూ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ హౌ టు ఫామ్ ఏ డిఫరెన్షియల్ ఈక్వేషన్ టు ఫామ్ ఏ డిఫరెన్షియల్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది గివెన్ కర్ వీ విల్ రిమెంబర్ త్రీ స్టెప్స్ స్టెప్ వన్ ఫస్ట్ పాయింట్ యు ఐడెంటిఫై నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్బిటరీ కాన్స్టెంట్స్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఇన్ ద గివెన్ కర్ after identifying number of arbitrary constant present in the given curve you differentiate that many times suppose two arbitrary constants are present in the given curve you differentiate two times after these two steps if arbitrary constants a and b are eliminated then whatever you get that is the required differential equation after these two steps arbitrary constants are not at eliminated then we use the given curve after first time differentiation what you got and after second time differentiation what you got we use this information to eliminate the arbitrary constants please try to understand to form a differential equation first we need to identify number of arbitrary constants present in that given curve that many times we will differentiate it in the process of differentiation only we will try to eliminate the arbitrary constants after these two steps if arbitrary constants are eliminated it is well and good if it is not at eliminated after these two steps we use the given curve after first time differentiation second time differentiation what you will get we will use those equations to eliminate arbitrary constants now you see this problem in this what are arbitrary constants what is fixed constant here a is constant or not generally abc represents a constant here a is a arbitrary constant because we know that a is a constant but we don't know what it is exactly we can choose any that's why a is arbitrary constant what about b we know that b is a constant and we don't know what is its exact value so b is a arbitrary constant some people may confuse with this one one is a constant but it is not a arbitrary constant it is a fixed constant we know that one is a number we know it is a fixed constant so in this function how many arbitrary constants are there two arbitrary constants are there a and b so how many times we need to differentiate we need to differentiate this two times in the process of differentiation only we will try to eliminate arbitrary constants after two times differentiation if arbitrary constant is eliminated then what you will get that is the required differential equation in case of after two times differentiation also if arbitrary constants are not eliminated then we use this third step okay so here uh, two arbitrary constants are there so we need to differentiate it two times first i'll differentiate this one time like this d by dx of x by a plus y by b equal to d by dx of 1 what happening here exactly we are i am differentiating this curve with respect to x on both sides first time differentiation is going on derivative of x by a plus y by b is what derivative of x by a plus derivative of y by b i'll write the same step here derivative of x by a here x by a can be written as 1 by a into x yes 1 by a into x is nothing but x by a so d by dx of y by b y by b can be written as 1 by b into y because 1 by b into y is nothing but y by b only derivative of 1 1 is a fixed number so derivative of constant is 0 we know that derivative of constant is 0 so here derivative of 1 by a into x how to differentiate this here 1 by a is constant you take it outside 1 by a into derivative of x with respect to x what is derivative of x with respect to x it is 1 plus 1 by b is constant take it outside okay derivative of y with respect to x d by dx of y is nothing but dy by dx equal to 0 actually what happened here one time differentiation is over actually how many arbitrary constants are there two arbitrary constants are there so how many times you need to differentiate two times you need to differentiate our main intention is we need to eliminate the arbitrary constants a and b you please keep that in your mind okay so what i'll do here 1 by a into 1 is what this is 1 by a i'll take this 1 by a to the right hand side then what you will get you will get like this 1 by b into dy by dx equal to what uh, it is minus 1 by a now you take this b to this side then what you will get you will get like this dy by dx equal to minus b by a 
okay how many times we need to differentiate this curve we need to differentiate this curve two times how many times differentiation is over only one time differentiation is over now what i'll do i'll differentiate this with respect to x on both sides again as we can differentiate it two times d by dx of dy by dx equal to d by dx of minus b by a what happening here i am differentiating this again with respect to x second time differentiation is going on we know that derivative of first order derivative is what this is d square y by dx square d by dx of dy by dx is what d square y by dx square here we know that b is constant a is constant so b by a is constant and minus b by a is also constant we know that derivative of constant is what derivative of constant is zero what happened here second time differentiation is also over that means this step is over second step is over after this step you observe that any arbitrary constant present in this a and b are present in this no they are eliminated if they are eliminated means what you got here that is the required differential equation we formed a differential equation right so d square y by dx square equal to zero is the differential equation of this curve now we will try to understand this more clearly with one more problem okay you observe this curve we need to form a differential equation of this curve First, you identify that how many arbitrary constants are present in this. Here, A is arbitrary constant, B is arbitrary constant. You may think that 2 is also arbitrary constant. 2 is not arbitrary constant. 2 is a fixed constant. So, here, how many arbitrary constants are present? 2 arbitrary constants are present. So, A and B are the two arbitrary constants. So, first, after seeing the question, you identify how many arbitrary constants are there. So, as two arbitrary constants are present in this, we differentiate two times this equation. After two times differentiation, if arbitrary constants A and B are eliminated, then that is the required differential equation. After two times differentiation also, if arbitrary constants are not eliminated, then we use the given curve dy by dx after first time differentiation what you will get after second time differentiation what you will get we will use any one of these things to eliminate arbitrary constants okay so first you differentiate this with respect to x on both sides d by dx of y square equal to d by dx of a into b square minus x square to make the things are easier i'll multiply this expression with a multiply with a what you will get this is a b square minus a into x square okay d by dx of y square in chain rule differentiation we learn this derivative of y square is 2y as we are differentiating with respect to x what we will do here we will write dy by dx okay equal to derivative of this expression how to find derivative of this expression derivative of this expression is derivative of a b square minus derivative of a x square right okay see here what you will get 2y into dy by dx equal to a b square a is constant b square is constant so a b square is also constant we know that derivative of constant is 0 minus here derivative of a x square a is constant you take it outside derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x so here what you got you got that 2y into dy by dx equal to minus 2ax you can observe here this 2 this 2 will get cancelled actually how many times we can differentiate this we can differentiate this two times so what i'll do here i'll differentiate this with respect to x again as we can differentiate this two times i am differentiating this second time y into dy by dx equal to d by dx of minus ax okay now derivative of this expression you observe here product of two functions is there you learn that product rule in differentiation d by dx of u v is what u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u so here i'll apply product rule to this u that means y into derivative of this expression that is d by dx of dy by dx u into derivative of v plus v v means dy by dx v into dy by dx into d by dx of y right okay equal to just applied product rule what is product rule 
u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u equal to here minus a is constant take it outside derivative of x with respect to x is 1 okay so if i write one more simplification step what you will get y into d by dx of dy by dx is d square y by dx square plus dy by dx into here what is d by dx of y d by dx of y is nothing but dy by dx only dy by dx into dy by dx is what dy by dx whole square equal to minus a here what happened second time differentiation is also over see this is equation one what we got after first time differentiation this is equation two that what we got after second time differentiation you observe here arbitrary constant is eliminated no it is not at eliminated so we need to use the third step we use all these three or we use any one of this information you please observe this equation number one from this equation number one what i'll do i'll take this x to this side take x to this side what you will get y by x into dy by dx equal to minus a you try to understand i just taken x to this side y by x into dy by dx equal to minus a so what i'll do actual our main intention is we need to eliminate the arbitrary constants in place of minus a i can write this expression okay so continuation of this step you observe after this step what i'll write y into d square y by dx square you observe this step continuation of this step y into d square y by dx square plus dy by dx whole square equal to now in place of minus a from this first time differentiation we got this now so in place of minus a i can write this information what is that that is y by x into dy by dx okay now you see here in this arbitrary constant is there a b's are present in this equation no that means this is the required differential equation if you want you can simplify this little bit i'll take x to this side and i'll multiply this whole expression with x then what you will get you will get x y into d square y by dx square plus x into because i am multiplying this whole expression with x x into dy by dx whole square equal to y into dy by dx so this is the required differential equation of the given curve y square equal to a into b square minus x square i hope you understand this class